Okay, so this video, um, what I'm going to do is introduce uh, simultaneous differential equations. Um, by now, uh, it should be very obvious how we're going to solve them. We're going to set them up in a linear system of equations using Laplace, as we've done uh, before. And we're just going to solve basically a pair of linear uh, equations. Um, and that should uh, enable us to be able to uh, solve any number of uh, simultaneous differential equations. So it should be quite exciting. So if we have a look at the example that we've got here, we've got dy by dt minus x equals e to the t and dx by dt plus y equals e to the minus t. So what we're going to do is just set these up as we have done before, um, using the dot notation for the first derivative and the double dot notation for the second derivative, etc., etc. So, um, so let's write this as, um, as y dot uh, minus x equals e to the t, the first equation, and x dot plus y equals e to the minus t, the second equation. Okay? And remember, we've got our initial conditions given to us. So when t equals 0, we've got x equals 0 and y equals 0. Um, so we can say, um, well, um, well, let, let's, let's, let's start with all our Laplace notations. So we know that the Laplace transform of x is x bar. We know that the Laplace transform of the first derivative of x is going to be s x bar minus x naught. Um, we have the Laplace transform of y, which is just going to be y bar, and the Laplace transform of y dot, is going to be s y bar minus y naught. So if we take, as we've done before, the Laplace transform of the left-hand side, we can say that has to be equal to the Laplace transform of the right-hand side. And because of the principle of linearity, we can say that the Laplace transform of y dot minus x is the same as the Laplace transform of y dot minus the Laplace transform of x. Um, and we can say the same for the bottom as well. So I'm going to go straight into that. I'm not going to write all of that out. Um, and I'm going to go straight into the Laplace transform of y dot using all our substitutions over here. And we can also say, obviously, that x naught equals zero and y naught equals zero because of our initial conditions. So uh, y dot is going to be s uh, y bar minus y naught. Y naught is zero in this case, minus the Laplace transform of x, which is going to be x bar equals e to the t, which is now going to be one over s minus one. And then we've got the second equation, uh, which is going to be the Laplace transform of x dot, which is going to be s x bar minus x naught, which is 0, plus um, the Laplace transform of y, which is y bar, minus the Laplace transform of e to the minus t. Remember that the Laplace transform of e to the minus a t is always going to be 1 over s plus a. So it's going to be 1 over s plus a, and in this case, a is 1. So we now have our two simultaneous equations set up as a linear uh, system of equations. So this is just going to be straightforward, and we're just going to be substituting one variable for the other, solving, and that should work. So um, what do we want to see? Well, let's try and substitute y. So this implies that y bar uh, equals, um, do we want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. 1 over uh, s plus 1 uh, minus s x bar. Um, and then if we substitute that back into this equation, we should get a system, uh, an equation in terms of x bar. So we can now say that s times y bar, which is 1 over s plus 1 minus s x bar um, equals 1 over s minus 1. Let's move that up. And now we can say um, that's going to be s on s plus 1 minus s squared x bar equals 1 on s minus 1. Oh, sorry, I've just realized that there's a minus x bar over here. Yeah, um, because I wasn't including the minus x bar. Yeah, from here. Okay, that's, that's, that's I think, okay. Um, so now let's take out the x bar. And we're going to have um, minus s squared minus 1 plus s on s plus 1 equals 1 on s minus 1. Yep. So now let's take the s on s plus 1 to the other side. With x bar minus s squared minus 1 equals 1 on s minus 1 minus s on s plus 1. We can say that that's going to be equal to s plus 1 minus s squared 
plus S is the meaning. So we divide both sides by minus S squared minus 1. And then we can therefore say that x bar equals um, s squared minus 2s minus 1, all on s squared plus 1, s minus 1, s plus 1. And then from here, what we want to do um, is just uh, split this into partial fractions, as we've done before, and then find the uh, inverse class transform for x. So we can say that that's going to be equal to um, non-reducible quadratic factor over here. So we've got an as plus b on s squared plus 1 plus c on s minus 1 plus d on s plus 1. Okay, so now we have um, our final uh, equation of x bar in terms of uh, Laplacian transforms that we can actually find the inverse for. So um, this is just going to be straightforward now. So we can say that x is now going to be equal to, um, uh, that's going to be cosine uh, t. Uh, plus sine t minus half e to the t minus half e to the minus t. Uh, and what we can see here is that uh, this looks very similar to one of the hyperbolic trigonometric functions um, where x equals um, cos t plus sine t uh, minus half uh, e to the t um, plus e to the minus t. And that is just going to be cosh t. So we can therefore say that uh, x equals uh, cos t uh, plus sine t um, minus cosh t. Now that we've found a solution for x, we need to do exactly the same thing for y. So to do the same thing for y, what we need to do is write down our original um, simultaneous equations um, in terms of look, well, after the last transform, which is sy bar uh, minus x bar equals 1 on uh, s minus 1. And we had another one, uh, sx bar plus y bar equals 1 on s plus 1. And now to find uh, y, we need to repeat the entire thing for um, but substituting um, uh, x and y. So we can use this equation 1 um, and say that um, uh, sy bar minus 1 on s minus 1 equals x bar, and then substitute that in over here. And now say that s times x bar, which is sy bar minus 1 on s minus 1, plus y bar equals 1 on s plus 1. So let's proceed as we did before.
Uh, and therefore we can say that y equals sine t minus cos t plus uh, cosh t. And there we have our two solutions. Okay, so what I thought I'd do is um, actually plot the solutions that we found to the differential equation, uh, to the simultaneous pair of differential equations. Um, and uh, the blue line represents uh, x, uh, and the y and the red line represents y. Uh, and the dotted line here is just the positive exponential, the, na the positive natural uh, exponential, uh, e to the minus t. So um, to try and visually see what we've done, um, we were trying to solve this pair of equations. The first one was dy by dt minus x equals e to the t. Um, and if we look at the, uh, the red line, uh, which is y, sine t minus cos t plus cosh t, um, what we can see, what, what that really means is that if we uh, differentiate that whole function, sine t minus cos t plus cosh t, with respect to t, and take away uh, the x component at each point, that's going to produce e to the t, this dotted black line, at every single point over here. Uh, and the same would be true for the blue line if I was to put, plot uh, e to the minus t, um, and then use the other solution of uh, the derivative of what we found x to be plus y equals e to the minus t. But uh, I just thought I would uh, show that visually to see roughly what that looks like.